My name's Rob Drew, I'm 35 years old and I live uh, just outside Eastleigh in Hampshire. I had Hodgkin's lymphoma, it was diagnosed in April 2005. When, when I was initially diagnosed, um, the thought of children, um, the possible loss of fertility didn't really enter my head at all. It wasn't, children wasn't something that was on my agenda. It was only really when the doctor um, advised me that it, it, the treatment I was going to have might affect my ability to have children and the options surrounding that, that it really came up on the agenda. I, I had, a, I had, I say, just, just got with a relatively new girlfriend. We'd been together, well, after, at the point of diagnosis, we'd been together about five months. Um, so it was obviously uh, too early really to, to have started thinking about children so it was it was an issue that we were confronted with probably sooner than other than otherwise would have been the case and so it, we, we, we talked about it and um, it was we decided that it was a good thing to, to, to do the banking of sperm so that it, it kind of safeguarded the, the future uh, for, for that. Once I decided to actually bank some sperm before I actually went around to doing it I think it was a bit of a it was a bit of a joke really amongst my friends and everything um there was a sort of a lot of sniggering and going on like boys do and you know things like well you know it's something we all do so you might as well do it for a purpose and things so um it was kind of all done, all done in a very light-hearted way and i think it was only when i actually got to um the fertility clinic um that it kind of re i realized it was a clinical procedure and um wasn't really a, a laughing matter when I arrived at the clinic, I remember thinking that it was, I, I just wanted to get, get, get it done and get out of there really because I, I realised I wasn't really that comfortable with, with the whole um, environment and it wasn't really a, a romantic way to possibly conceive a child. The procedure for doing it is that they recommend that you do two separate deposits. So it's not something that you do once and then you can forget all about it. You do have to do it twice. And then that was that, that part of the pre-treatment finished really. And I looked upon it as something of a tick box exercise. There were lots of things that had to be done. Things like a heart scan, a lung function test, various blood tests and obviously that donation. And so really it was nice to put a tick in the box and think, okay, that's one more thing done before the, the treatment proper started. The treatment itself, um, the chemotherapy and then the radiotherapy that immediately followed lasted between six to seven months. As part of the procedure that they do, um, they, the, what they recommend is that you come back in once your treatment's all finished and settled down and, and things have kind of got back to normal in terms of your body. They recommend that you come in for a follow-up test, I think is what they call it and in, in that you can bank some, um, so you can donate some more sperm and they will compare it and um, give you an idea as to whether they feel that um, your sperm has been affected by the treatment and in my case they didn't feel it had been, they said that there was no significant difference between the three samples that they had. Really I've kind of moved on I think quite a lot in terms of um, I've tried as much as I can to put the treatment and, and the whole experience behind me which I think I've managed to do. Um, I have also got a new girlfriend in that time so I'm, I've now been with around about a year and a half and we're now at a stage where we, we've, we're talking about having children at some point in the not too distant future. Um, I think we've both kind of agreed that we'd like three um, and so um, I'm hoping for a boy, I think, first of all, who can follow in the, the line of uh, supporting Charlton Athletic. And um, I also like, would like to have at least one girl, hopefully two, um, who can do things like, um, you know, go to ballet classes and art classes and that sort of thing and, 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 and do things like that, really. For information, help or if you just want to chat, call the Macmillan support line on 0808 808 0000 or visit macmillan.org.uk.